to the DC Fans channel. My name is Sammy from the YouTube channel Sammy Reads, and I am here today to talk to your face about my current favorite DC title right now. Sorry, Aquaman. The Flintstones number eight. I am so lucky and thankful that DC sent me this comic for me to review for you. They are just so kind and I'm so excited and yeah, everything's great. Let's just get right into the story. Just ignore that. Issue number eight of the Flintstones discusses topics such as economics, consumerism, and sexism? Question mark, question mark. That's right, they were able to somehow squeeze that topic in there and it ended up working super well. Good for you, Flintstones. As always, your timing is always weirdly super appropriate. Wilma and Betty take a trip to Wilma's mother's farm to get away from it all. And we get to learn a lot about Wilma's upbringing, which consequently lets us learn a lot about her as a person. While the ladies are off remembering the past, we have our idiot mayor, Claude the Destroyer, trying to raise some money in uh, the only way he knows how. Obviously, the only correct way to raise money would be to close down the children's hospital. Oh, oh, also, did I mention that the reason he's trying to raise the money is to get dinosaur armor? Not armor that's made of like dinosaur hide for people to wear, it's armor for dinosaurs. Which I, are, don't, aren't they already kind of, I, what? No big deal, they just wanna fight with the lizard people. Don't we all? Claude and his team use all the tactics they can think of to sway the people, particularly the women voters who want nothing to do with this. But nothing seems to be working. That's when they pull out their celebrity endorsement, Stony Danza. I mean, I hate it, but I also love it. Meanwhile, Fred and Barney are trying to survive without their wives, and they are discovering that it is enormously difficult. My personal opinion on this is that maybe Fred should keep an eye on what his daughter is reading. Does that, does that say cannibalism? That's worrisome. Anyway, Mayor Claude just cannot figure out why women don't vote for him. I mean, he does everything right. He shouts the word women at them, he tries to kill their children by shutting down the hospital, and he refers to himself in the third person. Ladies, snatch this guy up. I mean, seriously, just put a ring on it, put a rock on it. Rock! <gasps> the Flintstones is a comic that is never afraid to throw punches. No part of our present day society is safe from ridicule or critique, and that's part of what makes this book so special. The trend that we see throughout history is that women, or the gatherers, are severely undervalued. But what Fred points out in this issue is that it is such a team effort, and we wouldn't be anywhere as a species, as, as human beings, if it wasn't for all genders working together, bringing forth the best of themselves, their talents, and their hard work. I mean, that's some pretty cool stuff. All right, fans, this has been my review of The Flintstones number eight. If this issue made you feel like you could do anything, like it did me, like I felt like it could, then let me hear you down in the comments, yo! As always, please check out the other videos made by my amazing girl gang that is known as the DC Hanna-Barbera Book Club. Uh, their videos are amazing, I love the other books so much, um, as well as checking out all the other content that's on the DC Fans channel, because it is ace. I will see you next time, fans. Bye!